Hey YouTube, it's the Shiny Safi2 here, and welcome to my 500 sub special. In this video, I will be doing a countdown of my top 10 favorite shiny Pokemon. Before I start though, I just want to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel. I only started this shiny hunting stuff 3 months ago, and I never even thought my videos would get seen by so many, let alone get 500 subscribers. That was like, you know, my end of year target, so yeah, thank you everyone for subscribing. Anyway, um, let's let's get started on this countdown. Remember, these are all based on my opinion only. Like, my opinion, not yours. So if you want to share your top 10 favorite shinies, then just leave a comment below. Anyway, let's get going. Okay, first off at number 10 is Lopony. Or Lopony, or however you pronounce her. But yeah, I've always been a fan of Lopony like both the normal and the shiny forms. In the shiny form its cream fur turns pink and blends in really, really nicely with the brown. It kind of reminds me of a strawberry chocolate bunny. It's probably the reason why I always call mine strawberry. <laughs> but yeah, overall it looks like a really, really nice shiny and it's one I always, like always have to get. Uh, at number 9 we have Roserade. Roserade is not only pretty badass looking for me, but in its shiny form, the roses go from blue and red to black and purple. I'm a really, really huge fan of this colour combination, which is why I love this shiny so much. I haven't managed to breed myself a competitive one on X and Y yet, but I have plans to do it eventually. I like have to have the shiny form on one of my competitive teams. So yeah, number 9 is Roserade. Uh, at number 8 we have Latios. I'm not usually a fan of greenish shinies, but Latios looks more like a turquoisey colour to me. Turquoise is like one of my favourite colours and on Latios it looks so amazing. So much better than the blue it normally is. I know I prefer Latias over Latios, but in general I personally believe shiny Latios is so much better looking. So yeah, I have plans to like have for this in the future, like maybe soft reset on my soul silver, like you know, um, how Julian Lulz did it. Uh, number seven, we have the fabulous shiny fur fru. When I first saw this shiny form, like the shiny form for this dog, I fell absolutely in love. Like, oh my god, it just looks so so amazing. Not only does it look good, but the fact that you can have all these different trims on it makes it so much better. My shiny fur fruit is like rocking the kabuki trim. If I had a male one though, it would so have the dandy trim. I love the dandy trim a lot, like it's my favourite trim out of a lot of them. So yeah, it, it just looks so good in shiny form. Oh my god. Uh, moving on, we have Glaceon at number 6. I know what some of you are thinking. Why, Safi? Why have a Glaceon in your top 10? It's shiny form barely even looks shiny. Well, I can easily see the difference between Glaceon and Shiny Glaceon. To me, Shiny Glaceon is just absolutely stunning. Like, it has its white fur and brighter blue markings, and it just, I don't know, it has like a more colourful feeling in comparison to regular Glaceon. So yeah, that, that's why I really like it. So yeah. Like, Glaceon may not be my sh favourite evolution, but it has the best shiny form for me out of a lot of them. Like, my favourite evolution is Vaporeon, but I prefer Vaporeon to be blue than pink. Um, but yeah. Um, at number 5 we have the delicious looking slipper. This monstrous killer cupcake is a fantastic shiny. Like, seriously, good job Game Freak on making it look so damn good. Always makes me hungry looking at it too. I was a fan of Slurpo from the images were first released because it looked so derpy and cute. Like, really, really cute. But, um, the shiny form, just wow. It, it's, it's a freaking delicious chocolate cupcake with a cherry on top. I just, oh my god, yes, yes. If anyone could bake me some cupcakes that look just like this, please. Please do it. I will love you for life. 
At number four, we have the majestic looking Nine Tails. The shiny Nine Tails is just absolutely beautiful. Like no words, no words. Just so so beautiful. It's lilac fur, and then the the you know the light blue tints on the end of the tails. Oh my god, it's just so amazing to look at in all the games. I'm looking forward to evolving the one I hatched in one of my previous videos and using it in some battles, despite you know her not having the hidden ability and that's that special attack IV. But yeah, I, I would so recommend anyone to hunt for this because it's just so, so, so beautiful. And I've said, and I've said. Uh, third place, we have an entire evolution line. Like, I just freaking love them so much. We have Gumi, Sligu, and Gudra. Game Freak pretty much opened the door to my mind, picked out my favourite colours and slapped them onto the most adorable Dragon Pokemon I've ever seen. Oh my god, thank you Game Freak. Thank you for making this evolution line and giving them the, the most amazing colours for their shiny form. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Purple, yellow and pink are in my top 5 favourite colours and to see them on these three made me just fall instantly in love. A really, really nice person one time gave me a shiny gooey, so yeah, I'm gonna love it forever. Oh my god, yes, yes. These three are just, oh my god, so good, so good. Second place goes to Florgis or Florgis, however people want to pronounce it, but I'm just gonna call it Florgis. But yeah, um, I know this is another 6th gem Pokemon, but come on guys. Game Freak did really well with the 6th gen shinies. You just, you just can't deny it there. Anyway, this part goes with the white flower specifically because the colour combinations of white, blue, pink and purple is just incredible. It, it blends together so nicely compared to the other flowers. Like it's just so freaking pretty. Just, oh my god, just look at it. Oh, it's so fabulous. Um, but yeah. I, I do like red and blue shiny Florgus, but th that's about it. Like, I think yellow shiny Florgus looks like trash. <laughs> I don't like it, it just clashes so badly. Like, I just, I just know, no. But yeah, that's probably the reason why Florgus isn't in first place, because, like, the yellow one kind of brings it down. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, for, um, first place, my favorite shiny of them all is the one, the only, shiny Kyogre. Yes, yes, I know, I know, oh my god, it's a legendary Pokemon. But guess what, it's a freaking amazing looking pink whale. I need to get my hands on Heart Gold because I so want a soft reset for this bad boy. It looks so incredible and majestic and yet I never ever had one. I could have gotten myself one of my sapphire, but you know, knowing me, I lost it. And it makes me kind of sad. But yeah, so I'm just there, just sitting there trolling over videos of people who managed to get one through soft resetting, and yeah, it makes me so jealous. <laughs> I want me a pink whale. But yeah, it's my favorite shiny of all time. It's just, oh, it's so beautiful and amazing and stuff, so yeah. Oh my god, I want it, I want it. I need to get me the hot gold. Yeah. <laughs> there you have it. That's my top 10 favorite shinies. Thank you to everyone for watching. If you like this video, please rate it thumbs up, comment below with your top 10 favorite shinies, and subscribe to my channel for future shiny hunting videos. I will see you all soon with another shiny, so until then, good luck in all your hunts. Bye!